So my name is Derek Lavoie. I'm a fourth year student here at Five Branches University. Um, I've actually been doing acupuncture for about 11 years on horses. And so now I'm just moving over to people. Um, we're here to talk today about the externship that I went to in Vietnam. I think it was the end of April we took off. There were about 21 of us, I think, that went. Um, and we had Dr. Tran with us, one of our, one of our, our faculty members here. Um, it was a really, really good experience. Um, I went mostly to get needling experience because that's one of the big things everyone talked about. But it really turned out to be a lot more than just needling experience. Um, the professors over there, their ability to teach was exceptional. Uh, we were in Hanoi at the National Hospital of Traditional Medicine. Um, we did two shifts a day there on Monday through Friday. In the morning, we go to one department um, and learn and needle people, take a lunch, and then we'd spend the afternoon in usually another department. Uh, departments were like oncology, there was an ICU, inpatient, um, I think there's urinary, there's multiple different departments. Um, and it was pretty impressive, like the oncology, none of us really wanted to go because we figured it'd be really depressing, but it was actually all success stories and we were really just treating some of the aftermath of their treatment. But most of these people had been survived of cancer survivors for you know five ten years at this point and it was actually a really good experience i think the biggest takeaway from the experience for me well there's two i was really impressed with how the doctors and they're mds so they're mds that actually do acupuncture as well so they're not just acupuncturists or mds over there so in this hospital they were both i was very impressed with how they actually cared about each and every patient I just, I don't think, in, a, in the Western medical world, I don't think we get that here. And over there, every patient counted and you could just feel the concern and the empathy that, each, that the doctors had for all their patients. That was probably the one big thing. The second big thing was, I don't, I've never seen this before, but they truly integrated Western medicine and Eastern medicine. They could talk about neurology and wind in the same sentence and have it be integrated. And they believed in both as strongly as the other. That was a very, very impressive. It was impressive. I didn't, I've never seen that done before, even here, not to that extent. So that was, those are the two standout things for me. Um, I, I think, challenges there. I was surprised. We were told that language was going to be an issue and it wasn't. The doctors, either they knew enough English to be able to get their point across or if, even like the doctors that didn't know much English, they still got their point across. It was pretty impressive. So the uh, language was not a, an issue there, but challenges there. Uh, I mean, challenges were probably not gaining too much weight because the food was amazing. Um, the shopping was amazing. Um, it was hot and muggy. It didn't bug me at all, but it could get pretty hot. Um, some of the some of the parts of the hospital were actually kind of hot, but other parts were air conditioned, and it was I don't know. It was never a bad experience, in my opinion. Um, we did get to take off for one weekend, which was pretty impressive. We got to go and we did multiple different things, but the best was boating through caves and like actually boating to different temples in a uh, little little part of, I think it was a little more Southern where we were. That was pretty fun. Um, and we made a couple stops and we climbed this death hill, which was pretty, pretty impressive that we could do it because it was pretty hot out. Um, that was a fun day. And probably one of the most, I would say for everyone, but me, to be honest, the one of the most imp best learning experiences was needling without a guide tube because everyone uses a guide tube here at school and they don't have guide tubes there. So everyone was forced to learn how to needle without a guide tube. I've already done it in my other work, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But that said, the amount of needling we got to do every day, all of our techniques probably were improved a thousandfold, if not. So I would say that one of the best skills I would say Oh, there's one where we actually did a pulse and tongue diagnosis. This sounds like the boringest three hours in the world. It was one of the most amazing three hours in the world, just going over tongues and pulses for three hours. Um, and the guy was amazing at herbs. So, of course, everyone hit him up some sort of herbal recommendations afterwards. 
um, we got to do everything. A lot of things that we don't get to do here. We got to do aquapuncture, which is actually injecting injecting vitamin B12 or other substances into acupuncture points. That was amazing. Um, we got to put moxa, real moxa, on the head of needles and warm up the needles with moxibustion. That was amazing. We learned some techniques with these stones with holes in them that we put moxa in so that the energy would go through the stone itself into the acupuncture point. I've never even seen that. Um, we really got to learn how to do e-stim. Everyone got e-stim there. And so I thought we were pretty proficient in, at electrical stimulation by the end of the tour. One of the funnest things that I did there, and I did this for me, is every morning I got up really early and did about an hour and a half to two hour hike around the city. The city is super safe. And so you never felt like you're threatened and you can go out at any time. And basically I watched the city wake up um, and took tons of pictures of the city waking up each morning. And that's kind of how I got an actual feel of Hanoi itself, um, to see how people started their day. I mean, it was incredible. And, and you know, 5.30 in the morning, all the parks were filled with Vietnamese, either ballroom dancing, playing badminton, enjoying life. Um, the temples were really fun to go check out. Some were kind of touristy, but others were amazing. I got stuck in a temple during a... Uh, and a thunderstorm and just sitting at this temple with this lightning hitting buildings pretty close by me and you can almost just feel the energy of the temple and it was good energy that was another great experience yeah if you can do it definitely do i would do the i think at first i thought that vietnam would be the only good externship i think it's the probably the best one for hands-on experience for needling um but the learning there was amazing too. But I've heard from the other ex other experiences with other like the China and the Taiwan. Every, every from what I've heard with students coming back, what they bring home with them is nothing short of amazing excitement to bring into their practice when they graduate. And I'm, yeah, I would say it'd probably be hard at this point for me to say which which externship to do. If you can do them all, that'd probably be the best. Um, I love Vietnam, but I think that all the externships have different didactic techniques that really will, I don't know, bring home the true message and the strength of this medicine. And so, like I said, Vietnam is amazing. And if I can go to Taiwan, that'd probably be my next one. We'll see what the future holds.